Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to Afternoon Express. My name is Danilo Aquisto. Every Friday on Afternoon Express is Winner Home, South Africa's favorite interior design and decor reality competition brought to you by Private Property. Follow our three design duos as they transform three cluster homes at the Eye of Africa Gulf and Residential Estate in Johannesburg into lavish living spaces. Now it's called Winner Home because that's exactly what will happen at the end of this incredible adventure. While our design duos compete for rewards throughout the series, the the real winner could be you. Yes, you could win your choice of one of three completed homes with luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grundig. The total prize value is over three million rand, making this the biggest prize on South African television. Now, last week, we introduced you to our three dynamic design duos and their mentors. This week, they start the competition in earnest. But before we find out which room they'll be tackling first, Let's give you a quick recap to get you up to speed. Last week, we met our three design duos that will battle it out in the name of great design. They are Team House and Leisure. We've known each other for six years, and since we've known each other that long, I believe that we're going to be like the bomb yes. in this competition. <laughs> we're going to kill it. <laughs> Team VC. We are definitely going to be the best, the best duo yeah. for the Winner Home competition. And Team Habitat. We are super duper over the moon. <laughs> Stars. And <Sun>. the galaxy <laughs> excited. We're super excited to be chosen for the season of Winner Home. The three white box homes that they'll be transforming are located at the Stone Quarter Development in the magnificent Eye of Africa Gulf and Residential Estate in the south of Johannesburg. The design duos drew keys from a hat to determine which of the units they would be decorating before getting to view their empty canvas for the first time. Each design duo will benefit from the expert advice and experience of magazine editor mentors who will guide them on their journey. Now it's time to get things started with the brief on their first challenge. The competition is about to start. And we have no words. Da -da -da -da. This is our first challenge. We don't know what to expect. We're about to get our first briefing and it's so nerve-wracking. It's been very exciting at the same time because we've been waiting for this opportunity and it's finally happening. We're going to bring that razzle-dazzle. We're ready to get in there, get through the walls, build some walls, tear down some. <gasps> tear down a lot of walls. And bring in some chandeliers. Welcome, Winner Homies, to your first challenge. Over the next 14 weeks, you'll be decorating one room or space every two weeks to ultimately create a dream home. A dream home that one of our viewers will win as their very own. Your first challenge is to turn a white space into a room that will have your friends queuing out the door to visit. It's the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom is required to be comfortable, versatile and accommodating. You have two weeks. Good luck. Guest bedroom. Blah. So imagine if your granny is visiting you at home, you want her to be comfortable. We have to warm up the room because we want the guests to feel welcome. And also we can't have like funny things hanging on the wall. And like... out with the existing units. <laughs> <laughs> you want a guest room that's impressive, invites the guests, says check in, man, <laughs> and, and they... enjoy. And then check out when they get a bit much. <laughs> yes, you gotta go to your own home. <laughs> The guest bedroom is often overlooked and easily overshadowed by the master bedroom, but is definitely one of the most important rooms in the home. It's the first challenge for our design duos and the outcome will reveal the front runners in the competition. The first step to success is meeting with the magazine mentors to discuss their visions. Meeting with Tian for the guest room, we're actually worried that are we prepared enough, first of all, because we haven't seen him in a while, and will he actually like what, what we have? Yes. That's what I'm asking, that's what I've been asking myself. 
if what we do we have enough to impress him. So for an overarching kind of mood for the the guest bedroom, what are you going for? What's the what's the mood of the room? Okay, color wise, we introduced a bit of peach, a lighter version of peach, just to warm the room up since it's on the darker side of the house. And then behind the bed, we have like an art effect in emerald. Working with Tian is actually great because he leaves us to do our thing and then later comes back to us. And I love the fact that he doesn't like shut down our ideas. He's open to listening to everything and if he feels like there's nothing, there's something better that can be done, it is then when he gives us his input as well. Okay, this is where you're going to introduce the Caesar stone? Yes, yeah, this is where you incorporate okay. the Caesar stone on the two okay. shelves. Then the bottom shelf will be like for shoes. The top one can be for accessories or whatever you prefer to have on them. And then again, we're going to be having Caesar stone over the bed, which is going to be like a darker one so that it contrasts with the wall. Um, and then in terms of the furniture, I see that you've kind of kept it quite like light in terms of the treatment and the wood. What's the thinking there? With the furniture, we actually looked at the more neutral stuff because we're trying to keep it very calm and almost feminine, unlike too masculine. Masculine and minimal at most. So last time you guys mentioned that you want to collaborate with some artists for some original artwork in the room. Are we kicking off, are we starting with this room or are we, yeah, where, where are we at? Um, so in regards to artists, we've got Tatenda Chidora who actually volunteered to give us exhibition prints. And then we tried Vusi Bisham, which we have here on the screen. And unfortunately he's in Devon, so we couldn't have him on board for now. And then at the end, it's a poor nominated song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be best if he, do, he did. Perfect, perfect. Us. So much pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> but then going forward, I think the learning from this is that if we want to collaborate, we do need to plan that a little bit in, in advance, advance yeah. especially for pieces like that, that, that yeah, needs a little true. bit of time to produce. But I think it's going to be great. Looking forward. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> He's already briefed me, so it's like, I'm like, cool. <laughs> and Tian actually really likes it. We thought he wouldn't like it, but he agreed with everything that he came up with. I was actually so impressed that he loved it. Because we weren't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Back on site, Team VC is meeting their mentor. We are now uh, viewing the guest bedroom and having a little meeting about what we're planning to do with the guest bedroom. Our first idea was wallpaper. And we love this wallpaper. It's very exciting, it's very vibrant. So what we are trying to do is like uh, do a modern jungle uh, inside the, the bedroom, like uh, a concrete jungle. But we also need to consider the fact that we don't make it too much. That's what we're afraid of. It mustn't be too much. Stick the wallpaper and see how everything is going to look. With see, the paint. I, I, this is too bright. Can you see? We are applying our paint to test it out and see if it will work with our ideas. And to our shock and horror, as Mpoor is applying it to the wall... The paint is wrong. With see, the paint. I, I, this is too bright. Can you see? I love the wallpaper. And I'm very glad they had a litre of paint here. Because once we started painting, we realized it's too bright. It's the wrong color. So what do you think about this one? I think it's maybe, dark. It might look but a little nice. But it's nice. The holy cork. Yeah, my glasses. But does it not blend in? Mm. I don't mind. Paper? I don't mind it blending in. But we don't want it to be too much blended, blended. It looks, it needs to look like it's been well thought of. Mbo and I have decided to create an imaginary client for our entire house to give us more direction and just to focus us. Doing this has impressed me endlessly. Thank you, Anna Marie. Instead of just fixing this home, mm -hmm. you created a character, a mm -hmm. person who's going to live here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about him. So this is a photographer uh, named Travis Spiderman. He's more formal and simple guy, so we want to make this house to Real. be like him, Real. instead of to represent him. I like your choice. Thank you. Any of those three beds can really do, except I wouldn't put the four poster bed. Not here. Mm. Well, Anna Marie and Lissy are besties. Wow. And I'm going to surprise them with a bed. No, you're not. After, they're not going to even see. We they're just are. They're just going to fall in love with what I'm bringing on stage. So. We're supposed to be a duo for designer. I know. So this is our collaboration piece. It's an no. ottoman. Spot on. I'm impressed with what they collected. I like the bed. I love the little 
fluffy ottoman. I think that's going to add such a touch. And it highlights all of our beautiful gold accents yeah. in the room. Oh, fabulous. So we want to just carry through this theme of gold okay. and, so green. and green. And it's jungle. very rich, definitely. So I think this is sorted. You've got the look together. Mm. But what are you going to do about the floor? Oh, no, we already had an idea for the floor. Sure. Listen, Ho, you have the sample with you. We have decided on the white laminate flooring, and Anna Marie thinks it's a great idea. Yeah. Finally, we both agree on the same thing. Definitely, <laughs> for once. I think the smartest thing they've done is to invent a virtual client. And I find that so exciting, because if you don't have someone you're doing a room for or a house for, you go gaga. And it ends up in this eclectic style, which is yesterday. In the next door unit, Team Habitat is hatching a big plan. Right now, while we're shopping, it's... It's going down. It's going and, down. <laughs> in Ohio, Africa. Okay. I'm talking breaking down the wall, kind of down. Yeah. My nerves. They're going right through that wall. Yeah. We're creating an ensuite for our guest room. Sure. So, <laughs> we managed to convince them to smash that wall down. We were not letting it go. No. Something had to go down and it happened to be that wall. If they're not knocking it down now, Abir would be leaving shopping with his and hammer. And I would go get my hammer and go to the Eye of Africa and I would bash it down. Yeah. And then probably now I'd be doing the cell block tango, <laughs> which is not good for Team Habitat. Not no. at all. Not at all. <laughs> Well, talk about a smashing start. Now that you've had a peek into the overall visions of the three design duos, why not show your support for your favorite? Simply visit privateproperty.co.za and click on the Winner Home icon on the homepage. Vote for your favorite design duo to stand a chance of winning a Sealy Poshopedic mattress and base set, providing you with a healthy sleep and a healthy life. Plus, you'll also be automatically entered into the grand prize draw, where you stand a chance of winning one of the three cluster homes decorated by our design duos. How amazing is that? Now it's time for us to take a quick break, and when we return, we find out if Team Habitat's decision to smash a hole in their wall was a success, or perhaps smashed a hole in their design. Grundig, for a good reason. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Good to have you back with us. Good to have you back with us on Winner Home on Afternoon Express on this Friday afternoon. Before the break, we saw that a big part of Team Habitat's design was creating a doorway between the guest bedroom and the bathroom. It's quite a bold move this early on in the challenge, but Abia and Brad are anything but conventional. Now, the next step is everyone's favorite. It's shopping! But sadly, their mentor Amanda had a medical emergency and sent a colleague in her place. So we're busy shopping for lights and... Minus one. Minus, yeah, minus our mentor. Oh, she's she's here. not feeling well in hospital, oh, yes. but we're still standing strong. We had Farah to help us, who was sent by Amanda. I'm a bit nervous to go shopping with Farah. Oh. I don't know if she can manage the budget with you. Just let me spend what I need to spend, <laughs> and the budget will manage just fine. Oh, thank goodness you haven't got the pen. <laughs> or the car. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. Farah, thank you so much for standing uh, in for Amanda. I hope she's pleasure. like healing and well. I hope Getting she feels better, better soon. Because, sure, you're nervous. Yes. Right, what have we got? Okay, so that's so our, big, our guest bedroom. Okay. And bang, 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 we managed to get them to knock down the wall into the bathroom. Okay, so, and what is there now? It's a frosted glass door, so we're just going to need some good lighting. Lots of good lighting. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Let's yeah. do it. OMG, -G, I see this light and it's the one. It is the one. This light is the one and I'm looking at it. I gotta have it. <laughs> no, I gotta have it. For real, guys. This is it. Shut the front door. This is the light. Fred? 80,000 for a lamp. Uh, a beer? No, we can't. 80,000 for a lamp. 
bread is the budget. <laughs> B for bread or budget. <laughs> no, too expensive. <laughs> so this lad, as soon as I saw it, I went, OMG, OMG, no. Decline. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley, you're not making this very easy for me, but like if we have to choose something today, this maybe this is the alternative, this one right here. How's the budget looking, Brad? It suits our budget. I think this, for a second option, is a very good idea. We can play with the shapes and sizes, bring the jungle theme in, maybe play with mm. different sizes, have some fun with them. It's got the gold that we want to. I see here you can use it for the floor. No, but I'm, <laughs> I'm going to use it on the... We are not since I can't get the lamp the I wanted, I'm going to use it on the ceiling. Rain it's again. used for ceiling, table or floor. Oh, fabulous. Rain I again. love it. So this is the one. The lights that we picked are quite nice. They fit our jungle theme. Absolutely. Green and gold. We're just going to make it wild. Absolutely. And that's our It's a golf course. It's, it's the eye of Africa and we're bringing that eye of Africa into that room. Yes. Boom. Team House and Leisure is at Plascon Spaces for some paint advice. And we are so excited getting advice from Claire with how to go about with our technique. And it's going quite well. Okay, so gents, the most important thing that we've got to do today is, is roll on your base coat. It's very important and each coat must dry in between the layers. You help me a little, thank you. And can I ask something? If yeah. the wall is not smooth enough, it's textured, does it affect the outcome of the paint effect? Oh, that's a good question. Because with paint effects, especially this paint effect, you do need a smooth wall. Claire, in between coats, how long does it take to dry? Just remember, in summer, you need about two hours. But with the miserable weather in, at the moment being winter, at least four to five hours. Claire is showing us how to actually mix up the paints. Like, there are different brushes for mixing. There's a brush for application, and then there's also a brush to mix everything. Blended. Yes, basically blended blending, yeah. Up. Okay, gents, now we're going to start creating our ink faded effect. The most important thing is to wet that section of wall first with your piece of cloth. Why are we making it wet? The paint dries really fast, even though we put an anti-drying glycerine in it. All right, so the important thing is you need dampness to make the effect look blotchy. So here we've got cashmere in your beautiful transcendent. I love this color. And you apply it left to right. Remember, it's got your glycerine in it, so it doesn't drip, because that's we don't want it all messy. So does the glycerine in the paint help with the transparency? Yes, it does. It not only helps with the transparency, so you can see your beautiful peach colour underneath, but it also stops the paint from dripping. OK, here we are. We finished our first layer. All right, now we move quickly onto the second colour. You just rag it a bit, and then you get a lovely effect. So you get that light and dark, but you also get that beautiful, slightly ink-faded look that we're trying to achieve here. So you can just see, I move the brush in and out, and you just gently blend it like this with your brush, and then your technique is finished. I think our future wall is going to look amazing. Thank you so much, Claire. It's such a pleasure, and I must admit, I think your color selection is beautiful. I'm worried that since you have to do our future wall, you get it right or not. <laughs> I will it get freaks it me right. out. <laughs> but I have to give you the benefit of the doubt, I guess. Yes. From paint advice to surface selection. We are at Caesar Stone meeting up with Herod from Natural Stone Design. And we're so excited to finally be picking our stone. I just have that thing for stones. And we're actually picking up our slab today. Yeah. What can we do for you guys? What we actually need is a floating shelf, something right. similar to that. Okay, it's possible to do the floating shelf for you. Inside will be a steel frame. The granite or the cedar stone will actually just slide over it. We're going to use vanilla noir for the floating shell over the bed. And it's a black stone with creamish veins. And then the other thing we have, um, we got an open steel road shelf. Mm -hmm. And what we'd like to do is insert shelves with, I think we've thought of the Mont Blanc, which okay. we have here. Yeah. And only because it will be a great contrast. And I've decided to keep it consistent with Mont Blanc, 
only because we're going to be using it for the rest of the house. And would you like to show us maybe the slab yard so you can Let's see the stones? Let's go Right, guys, here's your Mont Blanc colour. You can see the full slab with the, all the movement in. On this side, we've got the Vanilla Noir. Also yeah. very nice, very popular. So beautiful. We take the, the, the full sheet, as you see it here, cut it according to the sizes, polish it and install it for you. And it's meant to be our two stones are standing next to each other. Exactly. Tsefo right? <laughs> <laughs> and Vanille have really got, I think they got a good colour choice. Um, I like their ideas with the floating shelf and the bracket and everything. But Karad still has another team to advise. Wow, 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 wow. So is that the coastal grey? That's right. Wow. Sure. It's definitely bigger and better <laughs> at that size. Yeah. Sure. Coastal grey is the colour that we've chosen. It's beautiful. Yeah. And Gerard, who's the genius, the man who can cut through a Caesar <laughs> stone. <laughs> well, he's from natural stone design. Yes. So I hope, he's, you know... He can help us decide what we're going to do with this. Okay, so we're going to start by basically doing the plan of the room. Like, no, yeah, it's quite a small room. room. Okay. And we're trying to do something quite grand. <laughs> yes. And he's not going with my stone. We want him to build pillars okay. out of Caesar stone. Okay. So this would um, be the pillar that would... That would be a pillar. Well, you think this way. Because the entrance would be here. The entrance to the room right. yeah. is through here. And then I'm thinking, you put a pillar, Caesar stone, pillar, Caesar stone, and a Caesar stone, almost like a floating. I'm worried about you walk in and the first thing you see is this pillar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm, I think he wants to put it. I wanted to put it against the wall. Yeah, that that way. Carrot is trying to help us out with the middle ground. Bia wants the Caesar stone floating in the middle of the room. I want it flat against the wall. But he did say <laughs> he's not a designer. <laughs> we are. So we must choose to, what so, he must do. Yeah. So I don't know how much time we've got, but we need to decide. Guys, at the end of the day, the decision is yours. You're the interior designers. You know what you guys want. Yeah. So whatever you decide on, we can make it happen. Bradley and Abia, I like the idea what they want to do with the Caesar stone. Very different. Obviously, I can't make the interior design decision, but we can make whatever they want us to. With that, our design duos have now made decisions on the biggest elements in the room, including paint colors from Plascon and beautiful quartz stone surfaces from Caesar Stone. Let us know what you think of their design choices so far by joining the conversation on social media. Follow the journey and share your opinion by connecting with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram using that all-important hashtag, WinAHome. After the break, our design duos are on the hunt for the finishing touches that'll make their guest bedroom sparkle. Stay right where you are. The global trendsetter in kitchen countertops, Caesar Stone. It's different. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Our design duos are on the go with their first space, that all-important guest bedroom. It's time to add personality to the room with interesting furniture pieces and accessories. And Paul from Team VC has a keen interest in furniture design. And along with his teammate, Les Sejo, they have a vision for a custom piece that calls for collaboration with a fellow designer that they both respect. We have decided to call one of our favorite designers. I'm very inspired by him, uh, Leonardo Designs. Frank, you know that I'm inspired by local designers. You're one of the designers that uh, I truly follow. Thank you, Ampo. So we are absolutely inspired. I absolutely love your dodecahedron piece. Thank you, here. thank you very much. We love it, absolutely love it. But we're thinking of editing it slightly just to fit in our room so that it has a little bit more of an African With pleasure. What, what did you have in mind? So we were thinking of something like this, which has more of a, a tapered shape to it. What we can do is look at creating more vertical facets to, to the table, which I think would look very, very nice. So I was thinking that we should go with a gold rich pearl finish so that we get that more inspired gold shape, diamond mixed with a little bit of gold there. A uh, great color to work with. So what they'd like to do is take one of our designs and adapt it 
and perhaps change the facets, add some facets, and it'll be interesting to see how the end product turns out. So the next step, we're gonna to go to the cutting phase, and then thereafter we'll go to welding, and then you'll see the finished product. So you're looking at about three weeks. Three weeks? Uh... We'll make a plan for you, we'll make a plan for you. Okay. About a week. It, it should take about three weeks, but I can see Lucero was very concerned about it, so we'll try and push it and get it out in a week. While walking the dogs, trying to meet a deadline. Yeah, and stick to the budget. And, yeah. You know, we had to visit the guys who are making our collaboration. Oh, oh, no. oh yes, 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 yes! Guys, guys, no, this is unbelievable. Wow, you've taken a zebra-licious if we don't win the challenge, I swear. No. I'm gonna object to the panel. I'm gonna object in your honor. <laughs> Thank wow, you. Wow, wow, wow. In the time that you had, I'm actually yeah. so surprised you could have done it. How long did it take you? It takes me like uh, one week uh, uh, working day and night to come with the, like, this piece. I was working with my brother. And I thank the guys I work with for their support to come with this like marvelous piece. I would start with saying thank you for like working with us and making something so thank amazing. You. Like it's an, something so new and it's like, wow. Bradley, I think you should try sit down so we can see the right. effect. All right. All so, right. I mean, our whole baby girl. Hello. Wow, it's <laughs> like, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> well, please hold your flowers. You are the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're sitting in a zebra. A zebra. Boom. Enough said. Are we going to beat it like this, or are we going to paint it? Yeah. yeah. I would say beat, beat it. it. To keep the shine. Like, when you're sitting there in black and white, you look like a zebra. So yeah. it's like, if the chair is black and white, it will look like a complete zebra. Zebra. I think so. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, now we just need to decide how we're going to work this chair. Is it going to be beaded, painted? Mm. Glass, perspex, we don't know. Mm. Decisions, so. decisions, decisions. <laughs> yeah. We are at Frank's factory and our piece is halfway done. And we are so impressed that it's this far. The welding is absolutely beautiful. I like the idea that Frank is turning ideas into reality, yeah. which is making designers' dreams come true. Definitely. So now we're at Oriental Plaza, we are shopping for our curtains and Rada is showing us the different fabrics they have and what we can do with, the, what we can do with them. So many options to pick from. Rada, do you have organza? Yes, we have organza, but why you want to use organza? Not even my grandma still uses that. <laughs> <laughs> you youngsters should be looking at something like this, uh, linen, that's in fashion. And you know that Rada actually took you serious when you were talking about organza. I was thinking to myself, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely. That this is, is lovely. beautiful. So this is going to be like the main curtain. That's your so... main curtain, and you want to put a sheer curtain behind this? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Then we can match the sheer the curtains. Options. Because these are all the sheer curtains here. The style we're looking for is actually adding eyelets to curtaining. The main curtain. Yes. Only because I've actually looked into that style for a long time, but and it's still classic, I must say. And the idea is to like have the eyelets on like the main front curtain. curtain yes. Now I'm serious, getting into like shopping mode. He's turning into a bridal joke. <laughs> like panele, what the hell? <laughs> I'm trying to get you ready for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we found our style and what we're looking for, we're actually going to celebrate with samosas. With samosas. And I always eat them when I'm here. Like, but then we still have to make the final decision because I can fill our budget. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It's, a, it's actually a lot of what we're going to pay hey. than what we expect That's at the end. Team VC is back at Leonardo Design to see their collaboration complete. It's so beautiful. And I'm also excited that Frank can actually pull this with such a noticed period. I love the way the, the, your ideas come mm -hmm. out so beautifully with the, the straight facet. 
Thank coming you, down Frank. here. It's really it, worked out well. Thank you, Frank. If Brilliant it wasn't for Frank, we couldn't have achieved this, eh, Frank? Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Frank. Thank you. It's it was a nice working with you. And the colour, the gold has worked oh, out perfectly. Perfectly. Eh? Thank you, Leonardo Design. We finally have our beautiful golden diamond. And someone thinks that is going to be on her fingers, which is not a wedding ring. This is a table, by the way. So. Uh huh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We are at Balgotex. We're shopping for artificial grass, and it's not for the outside. It's always better on the inside. Ah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good? I look good. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> sorry. It's quite cross. We're trying to negotiate a discount. And you know, <laughs> and buses. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. <laughs> what? But you know, buses are our body guard. Yes. Can't hate on bus. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I'll, I'll stand this side then. Um, how can I help you guys? Well, we're uh, looking to find flooring for our guest bedroom. And we this walked cooler. in here and we thought, this is it. It's like, this is it. This is it. <laughs> is it? Yes, okay, well, this is actually our putting green. So, yeah, if you put this in the bedroom, just make sure that you buy a putter as well. So you can Absolutely. do a bit of that, that as well. I mean, that's a multifunctional bedroom. Yes. Where they can putt, putt, and, and then get and into bed. And all sorts of other things. Well. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Do you, would, would you like to see some of our other types of, of grass? Yeah, we were wanting a shorter grass and then also a longer grass. Let's have a look at the range and I'll show you what is available. Okay, uh, thank, thank you. you. Okay guys, this was the golf green that you saw on yes, the side of the, sh the showroom. Yeah. And then you were asking about the longer, longer grass. The longer grass. Here we go. You can see the longer grass. Yes. Okay. I mean, that looks like real grass. No, like real, like real, like real, real, the real thing. Sure. Wow. And here on the uh, on the wall behind you, you can see there's some samples that you can wow. take with you, and then yeah. you can go and play and, and see at home position. how it will fit into your decor scheme. So you're welcome to use. Okay, I'm gonna that one. Yeah. Yeah. There's a huge, massive, huge. Both variety of grass mm. yeah ginormous but i swear the one that we got is the hole in one it's the winner pat pat yeah it is it is well, it seems like our design duos are definitely not holding back and are coming out of the gate, or I should probably say the bedroom door, with strong ideas and interesting choices. As with any renovation, seeing progress is always exciting. So later, we pop in to see how the designs are coming along. But after the break, Jeannie's on the couch to launch a brand new property advice segment on Winner Home, brought to you by Private Property. So with Winner Home kicking off on Afternoon Express, we are transforming ourselves into experts on all things estate living. We will explore various aspects related to buying and living on estates, and today we launch our series of property advice by discussing the different types of property available on estates in South Africa and how to choose the right property type for you. Helping us to unpack and understand this better is Lisa Boniface. Welcome. Hi, Jeannie. Nice to be here today. So Thanks for having me. So lovely to have me. you here. So estate living is obviously the most, I don't know, valued at this stage, I think, in South Africa. I would love to live on a estate. But do you have to live on a freeholding property? Like, what kind of options are there? So, Jeannie, that used to be the case, but there has been quite a bit of changes around estate living. Uh, so what, hap what happened in the past was you would buy a plot of land and you would, you would uh, build on it or you would buy a, a, a building that already exists. Yeah. However, there have been some changes and now sectional title is incorporated into the estates, which I think is Amazing. great because it's more affordable and um, people who are buying sectional title still benefit from that estate living. Uh, the Brilliant. security that comes with it, uh, the pool house, <laughs> the golf course. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really great to have sectional title in a state living now. And then how do you go about buying it? Are there any rules or, or laws in place? Okay, so when buying any property, um, we always turn to the Alienation of Land Act. It must be in writing. So um, you enter into a contract for the land, it's a deed of sale, and then you enter into a building contract with the developer or the builder. And then keep in mind, 
mind, when you buy into an estate, you're also acknowledging the rules of that estate. Okay. You, you become part of a homeowners association and you bow into all of those rules and regulations. So it's quite regulated um, and okay. I think that's a good thing. That's a positive thing. Okay. Um, there's architectural guidelines when building in an estate. Usually there's nominated architects. So there's quite a lot involved when buying into an estate. And yeah. I think as a buyer, you must, you must definitely do your homework on those elements. Definitely. And this is our homework right now. Can you tell me a little bit more about freehold ownership? Okay. So freehold ownership, you um, own the building as well as the land that the building is on. Okay. So every unit is given an earth number. So even if you live in a flat... Okay, but that's now sectional that's, title. That's sectional so, title. Yeah, so okay, we'll get so freehold. To freehold okay. is a piece of land and the building on that piece of land. Okay. You, you get full title to that. Okay. And you then are responsible for most things around that earth. So the maintenance, the upkeep, the insurance, rates and taxes, um, you will be responsible for. In comparison with your sectional title, yeah. the body corporate takes control of a few of those elements. So okay. the upkeep of the common property will be dealt with by the body corporate. Uh, they will pay the um, insurance on the on the building. So oh, there wow. are quite big differences. In a sectional title, you become the owner of a section and an undivided share in the common property. Okay. So everything outside of your unit is the common property and each owner shares in that, in undivided shares. Right. Whereas in an earth, you own the land that you're on and the building. And although there's communal areas, that's owned by the homeowners association and okay. governed by them. And which one's better? Like, is one type of ownership better than the other? I suppose they both come with different pros and cons. Yeah, so they definitely both have pros and cons. I think, um, as I mentioned before, for Genie, it's definitely more affordable to buy into a sectional title. Um, however, it's a lot l less exciting because if you are a creative person or you do want to make any changes to the property, it's very difficult to do that. And you would oh, need see. consents from the body corporates. Yeah. Um, whereas in a homeowners association, although there's architectural guidelines and you can't do what you want to, you still have an option to choose different building specifications, different colours in some cases, fixtures and fittings. Yeah. Whereas in your sectional title units, when you make a change, you do need that consent from the body corporates. Not uh, on the internal structure? No, on, only, not, only not, only, no not on the internal structure. Because I've only ever owned But on the external structure. Okay. So you basically have to live with what you've got there. To build on a bathroom means consent from the body corporates. Exactly. And to make any changes to the structure also becomes very problematic. So I think it just depends on your affordability yeah. and um, if you're happy to live in a sectional title with lots of management rules and conduct rules um, then it's a, it's a great place to be yeah. and the body corporate does take over a lot of responsibility looking after those common areas and the costs in that is then shared as well. Okay but the body corporate you can actually live there and be part of the body corporate so do you reckon if you've got a sectional title home you should be part of the body corporate so that nobody can say no to you when you want to make changes? Yeah so what happens is um, you immediately become a member of the body corporates when that section is transferred okay. into your name. Uh, you can't resign from the body corporate. You automatically become a member of that body corporate. Okay. Um, so I think that's important to keep in mind. And the body corporate is really a collective name um, for owners in okay. a scheme. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to start going to those meetings. No, you're going to have to, <laughs> definitely. Thank you so no, much. It's a pleasure. I really do feel more armed now with more information, <laughs> ready to go buy more homes. <laughs> I wish. OK, remember, you can win your choice choice of one of three fully designed cluster homes at the Eye of Africa Gulf Residential Estate in the Winner Home Grand Prize Competition. To enter, visit www.privateproperty.co.za, answer any question and vote for your favourite design duo. Keep a lookout to each week for more property advice and tips right here on Win A Home. After the break, we catch up with our design duos to see how they're feeling halfway towards completing their first challenge. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, our design duos are well on the way to completing their first room challenge, that guest bedroom. Now at the halfway mark, it's time for me to check in and find out what's been done and what possible challenges await our design duos on the path to completing their guest bedrooms. It's the halfway mark and it feels like we just started. Oh my word. It really does. It feels like we've just started. Yeah. My nerve! There's a lot of challenges going on. Everything is happening so at the same time. We, we are a bit worried about the time frame. Yeah. Are we going to finish on time? Are we going to have everything done nicely and correctly? That's the biggest fear that we have now. Most of our stuff have already arrived and it's looking promising that we're going to be done on time. We're quite confident about that. Yes, and it's so exciting to see everything just like come together. Come together, yeah. It's really exciting. But you know what? That mural is still giving me heart attacks. And he's just on my back throughout. <laughs> and not giving me rest to actually but... work on the mural. <laughs> he ruined my confidence. <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, Team Habitat should be about halfway through their guest bedroom, but with all of their flamboyant ideas, you never really know. And it seems like they're getting some creative ideas from the outdoors. <laughs> I'd like to take a photo of you two. Man, shouldn't you be working? I come and check up on you for once, and you guys are standing outside looking like schmodels. So, I know it looks like we're just chinchilling, but it's none of that. We're waiting for the contractors. Our dream team. On a serious note, though, how is it going on in there, guys? My nerves. Pure yeah. stress is an understatement. We are stressed <laughs> to the core with a capital S. Well, it looks like your dream team has arrived. Yes! yes! Go! <laughs> dream team girls. Yes. Yes. So, Brad, you've brought in your nieces to be your specialist contractors to finish off your chandeliers, but what still needs to be done? What has been done? Where's the drama in this guest bedroom? Sure, the drama is wall to wall, I mean, ceiling to the everywhere there's drama because we started out with banging out a wall, which is quite dramatic, to create an ensuite guest bedroom experience. Yeah, so we're still waiting for painting to be done, door to be finished, carpets to, to be put down. in. So halfway mark, we're a bit stressed. Seems like a lot still needs to get done. Sure, and the more you say that, the more I go, there's not enough time. <laughs> Yeah, our furniture is arriving, so hopefully we'll be able to pull it off. That room should be jungle fever. Like jungle fever, wall to wall, chandeliers, grass, zebra. Well, the million dollar question is, will you guys be done in time? All I can say is, for my nerves, I hope so. And girls, how are you feeling? You think they're going to win? Yes. Awesome. And how's it building this little chandelier over here? Is it like a, one of your puzzles? Yeah. Awesome. Have fun. Let's check up on Empo and Lesejo making up Team VC. They seem confident enough, so confident in fact, that they've offered you and I a little tour of their guest bedroom at Halfway. This is our room, Danilo. Looks quite cool, I like the colours. But I mean, halfway done and you guys are just got basically paint on the wall. Yeah, so basically uh, everything was, we were quite stressing about the paint. We first selected the wrong paint and now we have the correct one, uh -huh. which I think but, it, it turned out to be. Oh, what's it's the beautiful, yeah. but it's taking forever to go on. Yeah. So we still need another final coat of paint. Mm -hmm. We still need to paint our ceiling and corners. Mm -hmm. And all of And we also done. need to put wallpaper today. Exactly. Ah. Okay, because you guys have got, you halfway, you've got a week to finish all of this stuff and a lot seems like it still needs to be done and every point along the way you've had delay. So are you guys going to be finished in time? Yeah, we are going to be finished on yes. time. Uh, look at this, it comes with a lifetime of achievement and experience. If you place your projects according to time and spec, everything will be done. And you're looking forward to the final product. Green is one of my favorite colors, and I love what you guys have done with it in this room particularly. So what's the rest of the vision? Go for it. Just okay, so we're we trying to do a jungle. Yeah. Look at feel. But a modern jungle. If you, a modern jungle. Yeah, if a you, beautiful if, jungle. So all the stress is going to give you guys a fever, and in here it's going to be jungle fever. Yeah, <laughs> Probably not. So if you know the song uh, by Alicia Keys, uh, Concrete Jungles, that kind of a song in New York. So if you listen to that kind of a song, and looking at Joburg as well, it's a man-made jungle. So we're trying to put the theme into the house and looking at also the client that we're trying to create the house for. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice mural wallpaper here, which is going to represent the mural quite also better and make the space to be more feminine. 
Definitely, and also we went with a darker color, yeah. just to make the room feel more intimate. Yeah, because if you can use a light color in the room, the more light it is, the more you can not sleep. Well guys, I want to be honest with you, it seems like you're very reliant on your supplies. I suggest you roll up your sleeves and start doing some of the painting yourself, otherwise you guys aren't going to be done, alright? So good luck. It's about time we started doing that, Lisa. Let's do this. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Team House and Leisure have been hard at work and they're about to arrive with a special delivery and that special delivery is themselves. Let's go. Let's see what they've got. <coughs> it's a banelle. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm very good. It's nice to see you guys. It's nice to see you too. So what's in the boot here? Uh, we've got a Joe Payne chair that we just collected. Oh, wow. And I'm very excited for it. Fragile and smooth care. It looks awesome. But listen, what I'm very surprised about is there seems to be a third member of your team. So what's, what's going on here? <laughs> this is Nicole. She drives us around. So why do you guys need a driver? Because none of us can drive. <laughs> At all. <laughs> well, listen, you guys have been warned about this from the beginning from one of the judges. How has this impacted the project? Financially, it's been a strike because we actually hadn't planned to have someone extra to actually help us with the driving. But we really needed that because we couldn't get around with them. And ever since she came on board, it's making life so simple because we can go to like more than one place at the same time. Whereas with public transport, you can't do that. It's such a mess. Well, Nicole, they've got great things to say about you. What is it like working with them? It's been very interesting because uh, I learn a lot and it's exciting. I mean, furniture shopping and hanging out with the two of them. I'm very excited. It's fun. And they're paying you, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's turn our attention to what's going on in there. I mean, what's happening? How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Like, honestly, I'm a bit stressed about the war art that we still have to do. The few layers that we did, it's not looking as I hoped it will. Only because, <laughs> Only because <one. laughs> he doesn't trust the process. <laughs> He's hoping that instantly the artwork is done. But no, it's like layers and layers and layers before it is done. I think that's the problem. I'm imagining the end before we even get there. The end of... And he also doesn't trust the artist. <laughs> I do trust the artist. Please calm down. <laughs> Trust is one of the most important things in a team, so I hope that you guys are going to learn to trust each other. Has he been a nightmare to work with or everything you could have expected from a partner? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> he stresses yeah. me. <laughs> I stress him because he stresses me. <laughs> no, I think we work very well. Like, um, in regards to, we understand what needs to be done. We're able to delegate tasks to each other. I deal with a lot of admin and I deal with a lot of the creative <laughs> side of the project. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you guys are giggling now, but uh, you guys need to get a lot done still. So I'll help you carry a box. You don't have to pay me. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate Let's it. roll. The paint effects is quite hard actually, only because I'm working with tones of green. So it's getting it consistently like dark green and fading it. So that's quite hard. <laughs> I'm stressed. I love my friend, but I wish we had a specialist. <laughs> we have very little time left and we've been trying to push the wallpaper to get in and now our cornice is not dry. So if the wallpaper and the wet cornice touch, it's going to make ugliness on top of our wallpaper. Right now we've got two painters painting and finishing up our corners and hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be able to install the wallpaper. Um, pretty defeated, pretty defeated. The design duos have 99 problems and time management is a big one. With the deadline for completion looming, the outcome is anyone's guess. Will it be triumph or tragedy when the judges make their house call? But you'll have to wait until next week to see how that unfolds. Don't forget that once all the interior designing has been completed, one of these homes could be yours. Visit privateproperty.co.za right now to enter our grand prize competition by voting for your favorite design duo. Next week, the judges assess the guest bedroom and with the highly respected heavyweight interior designer joining the panel, the duos might be in for some tough critique. Until then, have a great weekend and we'll see you next week Friday on Win A Home. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.